Hey everyone, I'll aim to keep this video brief. To cut to the chase during a 2 meter side bend QSO, one my good friend pointed out, hey you're slightly off the frequency. Quite an interesting moment, because the frequency on my display was correct. Has the frequency really deviated? Well, it's easy to check. Let's push the PTT and... And yes, on uh, 70 centimeters we have off 40 hertz. Previously I checked 2 meter band and the offset was about 20 hertz. It's okay, reference frequency going through the complex mathematic inside of the transceiver. Time to figure out how we can tune the internal oscillator. In a series manual we can find all necessary information about this alignment. The control point TP1025. Here is we must pick up uh, 60 MHz, 450 kHz and 0 Hz. If the frequency will different, then we need to go to the service menu of the transceiver, where we need to readjust field 01-04. Due to the changing of this parameter, we need to get on a control point 60 MHz, 44 450 kilohertz and zero hertz. Okay, let's go. The transceiver has already disassembled, and the control point, what we need, is located under this small PCB. To get access, I need to release these three screws and move PCB. I put the PCB in a bag to insulate from another components. Also add a tape to keep all in one position. Now I can concentrate on this area. All components is extremely small, so I need to be very careful. And uh, this is the control point, what we need, TP1025. Also, we need a ground. I think this column be a good ground point. For frequency measuring, I use in 10 to 1 oscilloscope probe. And, as you have already seen, my very old frequency counter. The counter has low resolution, but calibrated every year, so I trust him. Now, uh, look at the counter. We have 60 MHz, 450 kHz, and uh, 6 Hz. The frequency of this internal reference is off and needs to be tuned. Now, everything is ready to tune. I use another probe, which is, has less input capacity, and the uh, number of the frequencies slightly increased, so it looks like a circuit is sensitive to input parameters of the probe. Ok, transceiver in service mode, field 0104 active and ready to readjust, counter connected and working. I'm slowly turning the knob and uh, frequency increased so this is a wrong way turning in the opposite direction and closer and closer And, uh, and done. My new number is 147. Original numbers was 151. Uh, let's wait a little bit for stability check. Well, all looks good. Time to final test. Here you can see another counter and resolution up to 1 Hz. This is a 2 meter band. And uh, 70 centimeter band. All great. Calibration of the reference frequency is successful. Remark. During this project I also use my oscilloscope for double verification. And something interesting was discovered. Same spot TP1025. Same probe. The measured frequency is matched. 
but waveform and uh, histogram are not so clean. Look at these two spikes. There should be one solid peak. But no. I don't know, something in my transceiver or maybe because of my oscilloscope or probe or something else. If you have some ideas, welcome to the comments. Anyway, the transceiver is working, working well and stable. Now it's time to finish this video. Thank you for watching and uh, 73.